Now, a report released by the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, or the CSIR, revealed that South Africa experienced 859 hours of load shedding during 2020, which has seemingly been the country's darkest year. The Council's annual statistics report on uh, power generation in South Africa is based on the electricity data from last year and shows that 63% of load shedding occurred before COVID-19 lockdown. The study also revealed that ESCOM's power output capabilities have decreased in the last three years. And, of course, load shedding continues currently. Joanne Kallitz, who is a senior engineer at the CSIR, joins us now to discuss this. Good to see you, Joanne. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, and good morning to your viewers. So, in other words, it was just in the first three months of the year that uh, the majority of those hours were lost in load shedding because, it, I mean, our, our lockdown started on the 27th of March, and we're saying that it was mostly before the lockdown. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of hours lost. Indeed, we had load shedding almost uh, every week during the first three months of the year. Obviously, then we went into the, the national lockdown at the end of March. Um, we saw, obviously, some relief on the power system demand for a, a number of months. And then, unfortunately, when the um, lockdown levels uh, were, were loosened by July, we experienced load shedding, shedding again, and this, this increased towards the end of the year as well. Yeah, and, and one would have thought, I mean, we were, people were asked to stay home. We were, uh, we saw industries closed factories closed we saw we saw south africa literally closed for business and that was the most opportune time to see things turn around but absolutely nothing happened we were assured that there would be some form of a turnaround but as soon as life resumed load shedding came back as well i mean what what does that do to south africa's economy Yes, I mean, even though the demand for 2020 dropped by 5% because of the reduced um, outages or reduced um, demand from industry, we still experience load shedding, which is really a sign of the, the weakening energy availability factor of the ESCOM generation fleet. Uh, we saw the energy availability factor go down to 65% last year. And that, that really is constraining the amount of energy available to meet demand in the country. And uh, growth in the demand will be difficult, in the, at least in this year, until we have new generation capacity that can come online or until the energy availability factor can be improved by ESCOM. And they, they have announced that they have some uh, new uh, plans to, to improve that. So we do hope that we can see an improvement in that 65% number in this 2021 year. Yeah, which is not sounding very positive, is it? Because, I mean, when we uh, already this, uh, this year, we've seen a lot of load shedding taking place. And we heard ESCOM announcing yesterday that we can expect load shedding to stay with us for at least another five years. But if we get back to a little bit of an, al an analysis of last year. So we have mentioned that 63% of the load shedding in 2020 happened before lockdown, which was in March. Do you think that this percentage would have been higher if businesses were actually not closed for operation during this lockdown? Absolutely. We, we do typically see more load shedding in the summer months, uh, just because of the higher planned maintenance that ESCOM typically do in the summer months, so it is a bit more volatile. Uh, but I do suspect that we would have had a lot more load shedding had the demand stayed consistent previous yeah, year yeah yeah I, I mean we, we we the number again i'll repeat it just in case somebody hasn't heard it 859 hours of load shedding was had last year what can we expect going forward for 2021 and as i mentioned earlier we've already been plunged into dark due to load shedding this this past week and four weeks before this Unfortunately, 2021 has uh, started off quite rocky. We've already had a lot of load shedding already the first three months of the year. The demand has, has actually reduced relative to the first three months of 2020. So e even though we, we aren't in a lockdown necessarily at the moment, the demand is lower than the previous year, but we are still load shedding. And the energy av availability factor year to date is, is only around 61%. So that's really causing the load shedding that we have now. The additional capacity expected to come online during this year is uh, two units, uh, one from Kusili and one from Udupi. That should bring about extra capacity on the system. 
And there are still some wind and solar PV projects in the pipeline uh, under construction that should be coming online during this year. So it's really hard to say uh, what the outlook is, but uh, I, I do think it will be a difficult year of load shooting ahead. Yeah, it, it, it certainly was. I mean, you, you talk about um, Chrisila and Madupe, uh, Madupe and, and if you look at the amount of money that's been spent, I mean, we're talking approximately 450 billion rand and yet the energy that is being produced has declined by 10 percent here in south africa over the past decade i mean you you as the csir found that escom's capability to produce power also has been on the decline this, despite the amount of money that's been spent i mean why what what do you think the reason is behind all of this well the the i'm a, I'm a ability to generate has really been the, the energy availability factor of the ESCOM coal fleet. Coal still dominates our energy mix. Um, you know, we provide over 80% of our energy needs with coal-fired power station. So as long as the energy availability factor of the coal fleet is really low, we, we will not have enough capacity available to meet demand. Demand has, however, been declining over the past decade, as you've mentioned. Uh, on average, we have been seeing a decline of about half a percent every single year. This could be due to a, a number of things, um, like uh, energy efficiency initiatives, but it is worrying that the economy does not seem to be growing in terms of our energy demand, as you would expect from a developing country. Yeah. There are a lot of headlines, particularly when you look today after the briefing from ESCOM yesterday about uh, saying get ready for the next six weeks and for the next five years. What should we get ready for? I mean, are, are we just getting ready for the fact that just learn to live without electricity. It, it is just the way things are going. Well, ESCOM actually also release a, a weekly status report. And in this report, they forecast for the year the probability of load shedding in every single week. And if you have a look at their prognosis for 2021, um, they are in the red for, for almost the entire year. So I think they are trying to warn the country that we could see load shedding uh, on a consistent basis, potentially every single week for the rest of the year. I mean, the, the likelihood is very, very high. Well, I mean, we, we often hear from ESCOM and they make us promises and, you know, those promises are, are, are always broken, saying, you know, we should get ready for 18 months, then we should get ready for five years. Things are looking good. They won't be load shedding in the next second. Boom, goes the trip switch and uh, we're back on the load shedding schedule. So it's very, very difficult to believe what they're telling us. However, if they took such a stance yesterday saying that we're in for a tough ride ahead, one can only imagine that it is going to be worse than it actually is. Talk to us, however. I mean, let, let's find a little bit of light, if you know what I'm saying, in this interview. And, and th there is a finding in the report that shows that wind and solar energy have now contributed double as much power to the grid as, as nuclear energy. Talk to us about this. Yes, the so solar and wind have been increasing in capacity over, over the last about seven years in the country. We reached by the end of 2020 around two and a half gigawatts of wind, two gigawatts of solar PV and half a gigawatt of concentrated solar power or CSP. And altogether they contributed around 12.4 terawatt hours to the total energy demand which is around 5.6% of, of the total energy mix. Uh, nuclear, which is the ESCOM Kubo power station, uh, typically contributes about 5% of the energy share. And um, so it, it has been the first time that they've, they've actually surpassed the nuclear generation for, for the last year. Yeah. All right, Joanne, I am going to leave it there for now. But thanks so much for talking to us. Joanne Callett is from the CSIR, talking to us about the power outages that uh, we've been seeing. I mean, just in a nutshell, the amount of hours that were lost due to load shedding in the first three months of this year, uh, not this year, of last year, were around 859 hours. And many saying that COVID-19 and literally the economic breakdown saved ESCOM from almost doubling those hours that we had lost. So, yeah, difficult times. Anyway, Joanne, thanks very, very much for talking to us here on the program.